All right, so it's actually finally done. Cool. Season 1, Thief of Thieves, Season 1 by Skybound and Rival Games. Um, the game is enjoyable. I did like it. Um, it's not a super long game, as expected. Um, it's probably longer than I would have normally... Somebody that could speed run through the game. You can play through the game in a couple of hours. Especially if you know what you're doing. Um, it's a puzzle. Um, it has a little bit more in-depth puzzle. Make, uh, Telltale games, it's more really you're in a situation you press like, okay, punch, ek, uh, B, and whatever. And that's it. You don't really have much time, uh, much time to do it. Um, anything else in this game it's um, it's similar to that but in addition to that there's the element of puzzle solving so you can do stuff in a certain order or you don't it's up to you to actually decide how you actually do stuff um, I really appreciated it it's really cool uh, didn't take me that long to finish it um, I think I would actually play season two when it does come out um, I did I'm, I'm really liking this um, I really did like this. Um, it is a solid game. Um, the anim the the uh, animation and the look of the game and the art direction is phenomenal. I really loved it. I know it's based on a comic book and they kept the same art style, but to actually play with that um, as a comic book fan when I was a kid um, and having wanting to have games pop out of the, the page... Um, this was actually a really, really good game for that, and I really, really appreciated it. The voice acting is phenomenal. Um, I don't know why in particular, but I, I really, really like the voice acting. Um, even Chip, who I find somewhat annoying, had his own personality, and I liked it. And actually, I had more attachment to these guys in, th in this short game than I had all of Wolfenstein Youngblood. Um, they managed to make it, you know, it looked like it was about a bunch of misfits and they were going to come together, we're going to do a job. But as you progress with uh, Damiano and the whole team and Redman, um, it was really, really appreciated. It was really nice. Um, sound was amazing as well. Um, the music, the ambiance, the, everything was really cool. The only thing I would say... A, da a little bit of a damper on the game is the AI is really dumb um, in a sense that they're set to be to to trigger in under certain circumstances but sometimes they're they see you from across the room and sometimes you, they're right beside you and they don't see you which works in my favor but that's not the point the point is the AI is not exactly on point um, but other than that, I think that's the only real complaint that I had. There was a minor bug, as you saw at the end, where I couldn't continue. I had to restart the section. But other than that, I think the game is a solid game. It was fun. It was entertaining. If you like an interactive TV show type of game, this is for you. Um, I could easily see this game as being binge played, in a sense, where you have season one, two, and three, and you binge play all of them. Um really good game i really enjoyed it um much better than i anticipated um and i do hope that i will um get to play season two if ever it comes out so i don't know if they're planning on season two and this is the, the great thing about game pass it's the type of games that um i wouldn't necessarily pick up but because it's on game pass or because it's on uh you know games with gold i actually get to experience these new ex these new games and it gets me into it um the batman series from telltale um i got the first season for free and the second season i actually bought it because i really enjoyed the first season the enemy within i think was the second season and i really enjoyed it so um kudos to uh, putting this on Game Pass, really appreciate it. I don't know how much this game costs, to be honest. Um, I would assume it's a twenty to forty dollar game. I think it's a little high for forty, if that's the case, and if it's higher than that, it's way too high. 
but I think in between a $20, $30 range, it's worth a pickup. And if it's on Game Pass, so it's worth it. So for me, I think it's worth it for the pickup. If you guys want to try it, well, obviously, if you watch the stream, you kind of know how to play it. Um, but I, I really did enjoy this game. I really liked the art style. It was really, really cool. And I thank you all for following the game um, and uh, commenting on the way there. I don't know if Gallows Adler is here, but if he is, um, I made it. Um, I understood how the game mechanics worked a little bit better. And um, yeah, I would recommend this game to anybody. Really, really worth it. Um, it's one of those weird games where you pick up, like I've had the Turing Machine. Um, I had uh, the, the Turing Test, sorry. Um, the, which was another one, which was a puzzle game with a story, which is really cool. Um, it's a Murder Soul Suspect, which is a, you know a, a mystery game. It's it's these weird little games, gems that fall through the cracks, and you don't necessarily always hear about them. But you know what? At the end, they're sometimes better than the AAA games that are out there. So, um, really, really awesome. Thank you to whoever passed by and follow and and um, enjoyed the the. Um, the journey with me, uh, Overrider, Wasteland Ruckus, BK Theater, Engineering Gaming Nerd, The Green Champino, Angry Gorilla, Mr. Garf 1988, Gallows Adler, Coin Op, Got to Choose, and Real Life Dinosaur. Thank you for the host. Really appreciate it. Real and also Real Life Coin Op. Thank you for passing by and just saying hello and just uh, giving uh, popping in ever so often with the with the Ultimate Warrior icon uh, emoji. Thank you so much. And uh, I should see you guys very soon. I don't know if I'm going to be streaming tonight or not. If I do, it will be, um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, um, I'm going to do something that I'm sure is going to make people go, eh, and I'm going to get unfollows. But hey, who cares? Um, I'm going to get back into a game that I played and that I flubbed, um, and I gave a horrible reading about a year ago. Not quite a year ago, but almost a year ago. Um, I'm going to get ba try and get back into Fallout 76 and see how it is. I actually do want to play Waste Wastelanders, which is the DLC that's coming out this fall. I'm assuming it's going to be November, but I want to get into it a little bit before I play that. So I'm going to try and see if I can get to play this and if I can um, learn the mechanics again. Um, I really didn't like it. I played it for about 5 to 10 hours. I, th I played a couple of hours after its release, but I played the beta, and I was just not a fan of it. So, um, hoping, hopefully it will be um, be better um, this time around with all the patches that they've done and stuff like that. I have a fresh mind. Um, you know, I don't have the media polluting my view of the game. I have my own experience with the game, which I did not like it, but I'll see if it works. So, that's the next thing I'm going to be streaming. Thank you so much, guys, for 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 the for everything, and because of this, we shall see uh, who. You know what? We will raid Engineering Gaming Nerd. Um, great streamer, and he deserves all the all the support we can, we can get. So. Um, Engineering Gaming Nerd Raid. Alright, guys, thank you so much. And I shall see you next time. Have a good one, guys. I see I found you at last! Ow, that is so freaking loud. I gotta turn that volume down. Corporate with the raid. Ow. That was so loud in my ear. That alert I need to turn down. What's up, Corporate? Thanks for the raid. And I need to change that alert, too. Ow. That alert was loud. How's it going, Corporate?